pride on the defensive end and the Warriors have as a team as well. But would you ever have expected to see a game where Luca was given 42 or allowed to score 42? OK, let's let him do that. But if Jalen Brunson also gives you 31 and Reggie Bullock also gives you 21, the expectation is this is a Mavs win. So what worked so well defensively for the Warriors? Well, I'm not sure. Like when you look at this stat sheet, Nothing says, man, the Warriors really shut down the Dallas Mavericks. There were some things that they did in spots, but this backcourt got 73 points. You know, and, and you look at Reggie Bullock had 21 points. Um, the Dallas Mavericks shot 46% from three, so they had 117 points. Offensively, they did what they were supposed to do. It was on the other end when Golden State really ratcheted it up. They had no. <laughs> they were simply outscored. They had no answers for what Golden State could do offensively because you know the pressure that Pool puts on you. You understand the pressure that Steph Curry puts on you with his big 32 points tonight. Klay Thompson has a nice drive to the basket as well, where he didn't settle. He finished with some dunks. Uh, Pool had 23 off the bench, and then you have Kevon Looney inside cleaning everything up for 21 points, and Wiggins had 16 points. So. You look at this squad and offensively in the second half, they just got rolling and you can't load up. The Dallas Mavericks defense that they used against the Phoenix Suns will not work against the Golden State Warriors. Against mm -hmm. the Phoenix Suns, they loaded up. They made it look very cluttered for Devin Booker and Chris Paul. If you try that here, they're going to kick ahead to, for guys like Wiggins. They're going to kick ahead to guys like Poole and they're going to be able to get shots. And Poole's very dangerous because when you kick ahead to him, now he's one on one with your weak side defender and he gets to either shoot it or drive it to the basket. They didn't have anybody like Poole on the uh, Phoenix Suns. This Dallas Mavericks defense is going to have to adjust to that. That the Mavs would have been up by 19 at one point or that Luka would have scored at least 40 or that we would have a Kevon Looney walk off interview with 21 and 12 and a Warriors win. What would you have found most unfathomable? The last part, Kevon Looney. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. And yet here we are. Okay. The last time yes. that he scored this many points right. in an organized right. basketball game was in <laughs> January of 2015 <laughs> as a freshman in yes. college. Yes, you said like, like Reggie uh, Miller yes, talked about. Yes, he mentioned that. You right. mentioned that. But B, we talked about it earlier. We were expecting what? The Mavericks start off good like they did. They shot the ball well. And it's been lopsided games here in the conference finals, right? But – Halftime, a few adjustments. The Warriors remind everybody they have a lot of shot makers on the floor. They played big time defense in the second half, be Wood. Yeah, and the Warriors put a lot of pressure on you. With, with that offensive lineup, whether you talk about Looney, Steph, I, wow, I just say Looney first. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Steph, Poole, Clay, those yeah. guys put the pressure on you. And tonight, Looney was the recipient of a lot of good passes. He was great around the basket. He was finishing, finishing well. First 20 and 10 game for a Warriors center since 1967, Robert Parrish. Mm -hmm. That's what type of game Looney had. A 200th playoff win for the Warriors as they now have the 2-0 lead in the Western Conference Finals. You mentioned that they made adjustments at the half, and that's when the momentum shifted. What were those adjustments you noticed? It was the defense. I think Looney talked about it where they tried to attack him a little bit. They were going at Steph Curry when he was on the floor because Luka had it going like you mentioned. But when you just watched the game, you saw that Warrior defense really kick in, the deflections, making things tough for Luka. And the role players, you talked about in the pregame show, the role players made a lot of sh good shots in the last series at home for Dallas. Now in game two, they started off good, but in the second half, they couldn't make shots. And that was the difference, in my opinion, the second half of the game. I have to agree with 3D. It's a make or miss league. When you get those shots and you knock them down, things are going to go well for you. If you're not knocking them down, that's how teams get back in the game and give credit to the Warriors. They never got, they never got deterred. They kept fighting all game long, and they shot excellent from the field and three. Golden State Warriors, 56% from the field, 50% from three. But the Mavs didn't big man then, Brendan. Will you break down what made Kavan so effective in this game? Because a lot's being asked of him on both ends mm -hmm. of the floor, and yet he was great on both. Listen, he was great on both, but tonight he had a great offensive game. And a lot of, he said it in the post game. Hey, he just stayed around the basket, and his guys found him. Guys found him. You see right here, just sticking with it. Rebounds the basketball as Dre misses the layup. Now this time he cuts to the basket, knows that Steph's going to draw a lot of attention. He's right where he needs to be. Same thing here. Wiggins goes down the lane. Kevon Looney puts himself in position to finish right there at the rim. And so um, it looks a little bit easy, but at the same time, moving to the right spot when your guy's driving is very important. 3D can tell you that. Like, when you have that ball and that guy gets to moving on, getting, moving on the go or playing on the baseline, understanding where to be, 
that can create opportunities for you as well. And Kevon Looney was always in the right spot to be a recipient tonight. Message for all the young people at home, this is how you be a star in your role. Right. Not one play was called for Kevon Looney tonight. Mm-hmm. I'll say it again. Not one play was called for him tonight. And they won't they be got no plays called for him in game right? three neither. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> my point is, people at home are always trying to figure out when we say do your role, but that's his role. Set screens, roll to the basket, and make sure you can finish around the rim. You get 14 touches, and you go 10 of 14, and here you are getting the walk-off interview and everyone expecting Steph or Clay or someone else. So that's why I want to tell the young people at home, learn your role, live in your role, and Kevon Looney tonight is a perfect example of being a star in your role and helping your team win a, a hey, big-time ball game at home. Hey, Three D, you sound like such an AAU dad right now. I, <laughs> I, I, I can tell you, you a, message, I right? can tell you, you, got a, you always got, got a message all. for the youth, man. You such an AAU you dad send right all. now. Send the message because you guys don't understand it's a big role to be a part of a championship team, just like Draymond. They talk about Chuck messing with him before the game. Draymond had a big time three point shot tonight right. to keep that flow going in the game. Draymond not known a big time three point shooter, but he made a big one tonight down the stretch. If you're judging Draymond by his offense, you obviously don't like Draymond. That's yeah. what I always tell people. Yes. People that judge Draymond Green yes. by what he does offensively, they just don't like the guy. And right. I know he can put some people off with the way he acts, mm-hmm. but he's necessary for this Golden State Warriors team. What he does from a deflection standpoint, switching ball screens, uh, making tough plays, uh, just that loud barking noise. We might not like it, but right. they like it. Right. So right. at the end of the day, Draymond's necessary. And I, never, I like it. I never right. judge. He gets, yeah. he, gets, he gets a lot of assists. I love like, everything about the way that he is. Yeah, he gets, makes he, me nervous sometimes. Yeah, he gets he's a like, lot of assists, activates the weak side. Anytime I look at a Draymond Green, stat sheet I never look at points I look at rebounds Mm -hmm. I look at deflections I look at steals plus minus um, block I look at all those other things the hustle stats because that's what he brings to the Golden State Warriors before we venture though too far from Kevon Looney and the performance that was in this game too we've each alluded to it what he had to say in his walk-off interview here he is with Allie LaForce 